Hello children of class 6. Coming back to the last lesson of your literature that is The Earth Day. This is a small poem written by Jean Yolaine. Actually, this is a poem which is uh, written as Earth is writing something on his own behalf. So let's read what the poem tells about. It is all about 22nd April which is celebrated at the Earth Day. And in this day, millions of people think of things that they can do to save their mother land, that is earth. So, have you done anything to save your earth? I believe you all must have done. You must have planted trees. You must have maintained those uh, pardoned works which we should not do so that our earth will get devastated. Let's read a poem about the importance of the Earth Day. I am the Earth and the Earth is me. Each blade of grass, each honey tree, each bit of mud and stick and stone is blood and muscle, skin and bone. And just as I need every bit of me to make my body fit. So earth needs grass, stone, tree and things that grow here naturally. That's why we celebrate this day. That's why across the world we say, as long as life, as dear as free, I am the earth and the earth is me. Very nice poem. Okay. So this is the poem through which a poet wants to convey that believe that you are yourself an earth and how you will feel if you are tortured. If somebody snatches out your skin, somebody snatches out your ears, your nose, how would you feel? You will feel pain. You will feel a tremendous Mm. trauma same the earth also feels when we snatch out trees when we snatch out uh, the leaves when we snatch scratch the mud I am the earth and earth is me we all are a part of earth or we are earth and the earth is us because we are a part of each other we are blended or mixed up with each one. Each blade of grass, each honey tree, each and every blade of grass, harek grass ka tukra, harek madhu ki bund, each bit of mud, each stick and stone, harek chote chote tukre, ghas ke tukre, lakde ke tukre, and mitti ki Mitti ki, uh, what should I say, mitti ki jhari hui baat means the mud but dry mud or the wet mud is blood and muscle, skin and bone. So these all things are comprising the body of the earth just as our body is having bone, skin, muscles, eyes, nose and what is earth's body? Earth's body is trees, plants, it's mud, hmm, the branches, leaves, flowers, they are all. And just as I need every bit, as we know, or we need each and every bit, we are smelling, we are inhaling, we are exhaling. We are eating, we are sleeping. Similarly, like that, of me to make my body fit, as I need things from the earth so that I can be strong enough. So, earth also needs us to make him fit. So, earth needs grass and stone and tree. So, what is the part of earth? Grass, stone, tree and those things that are growing up on the earth very naturally where actually human beings doesn't have to do anything. That is why we celebrate this day and this is the reason why we celebrate this earth day. So that we can recover the um, 
diluted part or the uh, damaged part. That's why across the world we say. So all over the world we say, what we say? As long as life, the last moment of the moment of the life, when I'm being alive, I'll be a part of my life. As dear as free and I'll be as close as the most free person to earth. I am the earth and the earth is me. And I am the earth, a part of earth and earth is a part of me. So we two are equal. We two are parts of each other. So love the earth, care for it as you care for your mother. Okay. So here ends your poem. Two poems you have done in your class. One is this poem, the last one. Earth Day. And before this, you have done another poem. A Marvelous Homework and House Homework Machine. Now, among these two, you have to learn any one because you will be given poem to be a part of your examination. Okay. So, learn first eight lines of the poem along with the name of the poetess. Okay. So, I hope you all are preparing well for your exam. Stay tuned with my class. I'll be back with you very soon. Stay healthy, stay fit. Thank you.